Of all the children, I know you'll be brave. Please help the others to be strong, too. I'm calm and rational as I write this, and I know whatever is to come will be more difficult for all of you than for me. Guest list. Why not? Can I see you when you get a minute? Yeah. Kelly? Okay. What are you two grinning about? Not a thing. Keep you happy. I've got a secret too, so there. Tell me yours and I'll tell you mine. Nah, suffer. I wasn't going to tell you anyway. <laughs> yeah, I bet you weren't. So what are my chances of talking you into having lunch with me? Good to excellent. I'll even cook. Uh, I was hoping we could go out. Why? Don't you like my cooking? No, I no, I love it. It's just that uh, I've been out picking stuff up and my place is, is kind of a mess. Will you please go to the houseboat? If you put it that way, of course we can. Just let me go tell them where I'm going to be at headquarters. Okay. You want to see me? What's up? Uh, yeah. After Jack Lee sent me the letter that Daddy meant for me, I went through his desk and his papers to see if there was anything else that he intended for us, and I found this. What is it? It's a notebook that Daddy kept after the doctor told him about his aneurysm. I thought you might like to look at it. No, I don't think I do. Well, there's all kinds of notes in it, things he wanted to accomplish while he could. There's a whole chapter about you. What about me? Well, he was very proud that you continued your drawing and your interest in art. And he wanted to help you by opening your own gallery or throwing his weight around and putting you on the uh, board of directors at the museum. He was thinking about us all the time, wasn't he? Well, I can make the capital investment next week. I mean, as an investment or the lawyers can set up a nonprofit oh, organization. Oh, no, Eden, Eden, wait a minute. Um, well, no, I mean, there won't be any board approval. Mason won't have any say in it. Yeah, well, what about me? I'm offering you your own gallery. Yeah, I know, you are, and, and I appreciate it, but I really like my new job at the well, publishing house. of course you house. do, but I mean, how far can you go there if you really want to be successful? And, and oh, look, I don't want to be successful. Account. I want to do what I'm doing. I am only trying to pick up where Daddy left off. Everyone seems just fine on, on telling me what I can do with it. <laughs> when he, they wouldn't even dream of telling him Daddy. Oh, Ian, come on. Don't sanctify Daddy's every word. Neither one of us obeyed him in everything when he I was tried well. To. Look, he was always interfering with you. And you were the only one that would argue with him. Now, look, it's not that you loved him any less, and it's nothing to feel guilty about. I don't feel guilty. Well, good. Then don't pay attention or expect me to to things we'd ignore if Daddy was well enough to come downstairs and tell us himself. Be it me getting my own gallery, or you helping him commit suicide. Because that's what it is, I even in my book. listen to this, okay? I'm going to go find Cruz. Excuse me. Well, she's in rare form today. She's got a lot on her mind. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, Kelly, just between you and me, I'm afraid Eden's planning to do something terrible. I mean, she's obsessed with your father and that letter he sent her. This morning she told me that he wasn't wrong to think he could trust her. And then I asked her what she meant and she wouldn't tell me. Look, okay, Eden's not going to let Daddy die. All right. No one listens to me around here anyway. But if something should happen, you can't say I didn't warn you.